Hi, it's Livia, and today I'm doing the first of what I hope to be a series of videos titled Underrated Reads. These will be a series of videos uh, that are hopefully short, spoiler-free reviews of books that I don't think are talked about enough. They're underappreciated, and I would just love for more people to join in on uh, the discussion of the books because a lot of times I just have this, all this pent-up fangirling that I just need to get out, but there's no one to talk about it to. So let's get started. The book I'll be talking about today is Neil Shesterman's Unwind. This is the first in a series of four books and every single one of them is wonderful. Let me give you a quick synopsis of what it is. It is a young adult science fiction novel, though I personally feel like it's kind of on the higher end. Like it's really top-notch, well-written YA and sci-fi. Um, and basically in this book, the United States has fought a second civil war over reproductive rights. Already, right? Already? Interesting. It got your attention, didn't it? And basically they have come to one resolution, and that is that life cannot be touched until from conception until the age of 13. But from the age of 13 to 18, um, you have the option, parents have the option to unwind their child. To have somebody unwound is quite literally what it sounds like. It is where your entire body is um, used for parts, so your entire body is taken apart. Technology has come to the point where if I were to lose an arm, um, the arm from an unwound person would be entirely compatible on me. And so this book really delves into organ trade and organ transplants, which is, it was just so fascinating to read about because although like it's a fictional book, I felt like I learned a lot about it. And this is kind of jumping ahead, but in the further novels, something that's really cool that the author does. Um, you know, with sci-fi dystopian novels, I feel like they're more chilling and more kind of unsettling when you realize the how realistic some of this stuff is or just how relevant it is to real time. And one of the things that the author does is he includes pages like this, which are real-time articles, and he even links it at the bottom to the website, um, relating kind of to what's going on in the story and so you it, it's just oh, it's so cool you probably when I just said that summary you're probably thinking like why on earth would a parent have their child unwound um, the idea is that life technically doesn't end because the parts are still being used and that whole idea is really talked about in this book so even though you might have a certain perspective going into it um, he what I love is he gives so many different circumstances that arise out of this situation, out of this system that the US has. There is plenty of propaganda by the government, there's a lot of just different situations also that can lead to someone being unwound. And we follow our three main characters, Connor, Rissa, and Lev, and oh my gosh, it, this is such an action-packed book. One of the things that stands out about this book is it's the first one to make me like multiple perspectives. Up until this, these books, I really didn't like them at all because, you know, there's certain characters that I just don't care about as much and sometimes an author will dedicate so much time to them and it's just frustrating because I don't want to read about them, I want to get on to it and then at the end the whole book now has a, a chunk that I just thought was boring. So he, he, this is the first book where every perspective was so intriguing and entertaining to read. Um, and at the very beginning of the book, I'm not spoiling anything, but we see our main characters come together and the scene is like one out of a movie. I was reading it and just, I could easily picture this on the big screen. I'm still waiting for to see if this is going to be any, if this is going to be a movie because I can definitely see it being a movie. I, oh my god, this book is just so good. I don't even know like exactly what to tell you other than to read it. This book is just so gripping and well paced thought-provoking, just everything, like, for me, everything that I would want in a sci-fi book. This is, like, my ideal sci-fi book. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot. Okay, I have to mention this. Um, something I saw most people mention in their reviews on Goodreads, a lot of people mention this one scene towards the end of the book that can only be described as unsettling. It is, yeah, I'm not going to tell you, obviously, what it is, but the way it's written, it was very well written. Uh, it, like, it was perfectly written, but it was chilling to read and oh, I remember when I first read that I was like oh my gosh <laughs> this is intense <laughs> I think that's where I'm going to end this video uh, please pick it up if you're interested in a really good sci-fi a really good young adult there is romance in here 
but it's subdued romance. It's not overtaking the plot, which is just, I love that. And it's gripping, it's well paced, it's just everything. It's, it's, I love this series. And I would love if more of you guys could uh, pick it up so we can talk about it in fangirl. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.